All right, team, thanks for coming. I, um, this is a gentleman who was on self-isolation at home for suspected COVID-19. His uh, spouse brought him into the emergency room this morning on the advice of public health because he was getting worse. Uh, he was in the assessment room initially, but uh, I didn't like the look of him, so I brought him in here for your assessment. All right, so I'll let you take it from here. Great, thank you. Uh, Emily, you getting him hooked up on monitors there? Yep. Great. And Carrie, you're working on an ID for us? No, I've got a 20 gauge here and hooking up from saline. What kind of infusion do you want? Um, we're just running TKBO for now. Okay, all right. Just uh, uh, RT, I see that he's pretty hypoxemic, so you're going to help him out a bit there? Yep. Okay, we're just going to remember not to squeeze the bag. Yep. Just let him breathe passively 100% O2. Uh, keep as well. We'll try to keep it around 5, unless he needs a lot more. Sarah, can you document for us out there, please? It will relay everything to you, all right? So, IV and right arm. He sounds really poor, eh? Yeah. Um, so guys, listen up. This guy's um, suspected uh, coronavirus pneumonia. Um, he's hypoxic. Um, I suspect we're going to need to proceed to intubation with him. So let's get our drugs and equipment ready to go. Um, and so what drugs do you like? So we'll get we'll grab our prefab pack uh, for our RSI drugs. We're going to go ketamine rocuronium. Let's have a norepinephrine infusion mixed up and ready to go in case he gets more hypotensive because his pressure is a little bit soft right now. Um, we'll have some propofol and fentanyl for post-innovation -sedat post sedation. Um, and then RT will get box one, so our standard intubation plan. Um, we're going to go with video laryngoscopy as our first attempt, okay? Okay, Sarah's a runner. I'll ask her to bring him in for us, okay? I already have the box. Okay, you got the box. Good, Sarah, did you have those drugs? Can you get the those drugs? Okay, Sarah, I'll meet him in the end room. Can I just hold the paper for him? Sir? Hey, sir. He's really not very responsive. Can I just have a quick look at his airway? You can keep the mask on, but I just want to kind of assess here. Yeah, just some nasal secretions. I'm not seeing any predictors of difficulty. So there's a north here. So I've got the here. So why don't I take over holding the mask for you, and you can get your equipment set up, okay? Perfect. I'll just come around here and dive under the IV treatment. Mr. Sir, what dose of rocuronium would you like? So we're going to do 1.5 milligrams per kilo. Um, so I'm guessing this guy's about 80 kilos. So let's go with uh, 120 of rocuronium. 120, okay. And we'll go with 100 of ketamine, please. Okay, so ketamine's coming in. And we'll do we know anything about next of kin, um, about code status on this guy, that sort of thing? Um, I'll just relate to Sarah's just getting the drugs, so I'll okay. get that information yeah. for you right away. And pass medical as well. Sarah, do you have the ketamine for me? This will be for after. Are you just turning the peep up a little bit here? We're not really seeing the SAS move all that much right now. Okay, thank you. Can you check on the biomedical history and if there's any family interactive, please? I'm, ho I'm hoping to see that it's SAS will come up a bit more. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit All right. So, so where are we at? Have we, we've got access. I've got we've access. We've got fluids going there. Um, we'll worry about drawing labs after we get them too. Um, you've got drugs ready there? Yeah, I've got 100 of ketamine and 120 of bacteronium. Okay, perfect. And we've got uh, agents for post intubation. Yep, yeah, we've got ready okay. to go. Okay, so Emily, can you grab our peri intubation checklist, please? Yep. And let's just run through that. Maybe you can just lead us through it. All right. Very intubation. So intubator anatomic difficulty airway. I'm not in, airway. anticipating any anatomical nope. difficulty. No physiologic difficulty airway. Just hypoxia, but I'm hoping a SAS will keep coming up with just the peak here. All right. And what airway and backup plan? Um, so you know, basically, this guy we're we're suspecting bad ARDS, and he is going to be hypoxemic. I don't think he'll have much of a physiological reserve when we do him. Our plan is to um, sort of oxygenate him, keep him ramped, uh, give him the peak right until we proceed. Uh, we will perform a full RSI with, um, with paralysis. Uh, first attempt is going to be with glide scope. Um, if we're running into any difficulty there, then um, we 
have uh, we should have an LMA uh, as a backup. So let's get in box two, but we'll keep it in the ante room just to keep it clean for now. Um, so maybe we can call for box okay, two. Sure, as well. Sarah, can you get box two and just put it in the ante room so it's ready to go? Patient positioning. Position is exactly as he is right now. I'm happy with this. Yeah. Okay. We have all our standard equipment ready. Yep. Suction. Suction. Suction here. Yeah. We've got a viral filter. Pre-oxygenation. We've got the filter. Ongoing. We've been able to confirm families actually here. There's no medical history. No. He was well into the last little while. Okay. So we got monitor going every two minutes. Yeah. We got our induction medications and paralytic drawn up. We got norepi for vasopressors and close intubation sedation. Okay. To go, the box two is there with the bougie sitting on top, ready to go. Yeah, let's get that second IV in quickly. I'm hoping to see these stats come up over 90. Um, we may have to just accept what we have, but if we can get them, as I said, we'll have them ready to go. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I don't even have a filter. Hypertension is only at this there. Okay, thank you. All right. Second idea is there. All right. So that's our 92, so I'm pretty happy. We're ready to go there? Yeah. Okay, so Carrie, you can go ahead and give the ketamine and immediately follow that with the rock. Okay, so... 100 of ketamine and 120 of rock. So 100 of ketamine in, Sarah? Emily, can you just watch the clock for me and let me know when 45 seconds is the last? Why don't we start the timer now? Sure. Okay, so 100 of ketamine and 120 of rock has just gone in. Thank you. About 15 seconds. Definitely starting to get a bit relaxed. I think, you know, I think it's eight minutes. We'll skip auscultation for the moment, just limit how much we expose ourselves. Um, so we've got them at 22 at the teeth here. So we'll consider the tooth there. I can hold this and speak to that while you get the okay. stuff ready for it. Okay. Yeah, he's at tooth down, 22 at the teeth. So, Carrie, let's get the profile started. Okay. Um, we'll go with uh, 0 0.6 milligrams per kilo per hour to start. And uh, fentanyl as well. Yep. Yeah. I got it. Emily, um, can we get portable chest? Yep. And uh, let's page ICU. Portable ICD. chest. Let's page ICU as well so we can get them transported. All right, so just to recap, guys, um, severe uh, pneumonia suspected coronavirus infection. Um, we've got the tube secured. We're starting on post sedation analgesia. His blood pressure is holding really well. Let's just cycle that again now and make sure. Um, we're going to get a chest x-ray. Um, I think ICU wants us to put a feeding tube in as well. Okay. We can probably get that set up. Right, and then we're going to get him off to the unit. Yeah. Anyone Probably have any questions, concerns, or concerns or any other ideas right now? Last no. x-ray on the way, but we can get this tube down before they come. Yeah. So we can Sounds good. Um, actually, you know what else we can do, Emily? We can drop the last one. Yep. 
So we'll send a venous blood gas lactate, uh, CBC, electrolytes, DM creatinine, uh, tri uh, troponin, we'll send blood filters, okay. um, and let's do extended life to block out sure. the Let's do it all. Yeah. Um, we should get a Foley in at some point soon as well, but okay. that could also be after the evening. Can you get me a Foley? 